Mind if I sit? Sure. I really liked your article, by the way. It's nice not to feel like a freak for once. I'm really sorry about what happened between Chloe and your boyfriend. It's not your fault, and he was technically a former boyfriend when it happened. How is she, by the way? Should I lie and say she's fine? No. Fine. no. It's bad. Actually, it's worse than bad. It's like we're losing her. Like, losing her, losing her. Um, which is why I'm here. I was hoping maybe you could help. I don't really know how. I know what happened in the church last Friday night. You mean the youth group? I mean after. I don't really know what you mean. I saw it. I left my phone behind and when I went to go get it, I saw what happened in the basement with Emma Walters. You even got a name. <laughs> You're a regular Woodward and Bernstein. I talked to her. What? I found out where she lived and I talked to her. She said it helped. She says she feels better. You know, if you wanted to know something, you could have just asked me. Wanted an objective opinion. I'm a smart girl. 31 on my ACTs, early acceptance to Notre Dame. I'm not some flatter zealot who thinks that dinosaurs were on Noah's Ark, and neither is Reverend Young. I know. What do you have in mind, then? I thought maybe if we just talked to Reverend Young to hold him about Chloe's condition, maybe he could help. Maybe he could help her the just same way. very careful with who he shares this information with. Her mom has tried everything else. Please, she needs help. Okay. Pick you up at seven. Okay. And for the record, I think you're doing the right thing. For her.